Hello everyone, how are you today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Gateway laptop. This one is a Gateway GWTN156-4GR. And in this video I'm going to take you over how you can open it up, how you can clean and repaste the CPU, the heatsink and the clean up the fan system and the whole motherboard. This applies for any GWTN series so it doesn't have to be actually 15.6. Because 15.6 refers to our screen size, 15.6 inch screen. Yours can be an Intel or Ryzen, AMD Ryzen CPU. This applies for any of them. The tools that you're going to be needing is a thermal paste. A good thermal paste is really very important. I'm going to be using Arctic MX4. You can get the new one, Arctic MX5. Or if you want to go a little over the board, and you can get them. Thermal Grizzly, Cryonaut, these are one of the best out there depending on your client or your likes and for the screwdriver set i'm going to be using an ifixit screwdriver set and we're going to be using a phillips number zero from here these bits are really good they are s2 class steel and if you get the pro set you get some opening tools and tweezers if not grab yourself a guitar pick and metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers you will need a curved tweezers grab a curved tweezers you will need an alcohol, isopropolic or isopropolic alcohol. It's really good to have, you need it, it's essential. And you need a workshop towel. I'll leave the link for all these materials that I use in my video description if you want to purchase. All right, one sheet of the workshop towel is more than enough. Anyway, and I've, with all this on hand, we're going to start doing the servicing. You want to power off the laptop completely and you want to flip it upside down on the bottom side of the laptop. You're going to see a whole bunch of screws. You're going to remove all the screws, even including the one on the cover here, the one in the middle. There are two sets of screws in here, long ones and the short one. The long ones are only two, one on each corner at the back by the hinges. So we're going to remove these two first and we're going to keep them in a separate pile. So we don't want to uh, mix it with the rest of the screws. All right, there we have it. Now we're going to go start all, go all around and even in the middle, remove the rest of the screws and keep them in a separate pile. If you guys like my video, if my videos are helping you guys out through your own repaste, cleaning or upgrading, you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. And it helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests and answer your questions in the comment area. I'll really appreciate that. Well, once we remove all the screws, all you need to do is to grab your opening tool and you want to open up the laptop a little bit right there and you want to stick the guitar pick or the opening tool between the top and the bottom cover right there and all you need to do is just twist it and you want to hear a click right in there those are the clips are getting loose, that's what you want to hear you want to do that all around to the sides go all the way back to the corners and see if it's going to focus right there Go all the way to the back corner and you want to do a left and right side and we're going to go to the back end right now in a second. So let's go right here. So I did the front and the side and now we're going to do the back. The back should be really easy. Just put it right in there and just twist and the cover should come out pretty easy. Now you're going to put a face down, grab it from the bottom side, bring it up and wiggle it around and you should release the bottom side. So there is the fan intake and the outtake is right under the hinge. So go ahead and grab a toothbrush, new or used toothbrush and clean up the dust mesh right in here. This one is really new laptop so I'm just for demonstration doing it. If your fan is really dirty, again, we're going to clean it up. So what you want to do first is to disconnect the battery. First, let's untangle the Wi-Fi cables from here. Now, you can use a um, plastic uh, pliers. You don't want to use a metal right in here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put my fingernail in one contact right in here on the side and put another plastic here. I'm going to pull it back evenly. And the contact for the battery should come up pretty easy. Once we have that one disconnected, we're going to remove the fan connector right here. We're going to pull it back. Pull up the back the jack. Remove this tape right here. 
Now we're gonna remove the three screws for the fan, one in here, one at the bottom right there, and one right there. Now we're gonna remove the four screws for the CPU heatsink X clamp right there. These screws are a little shorter than the fan screws. There we have it. Now you don't want to lift up from here. You want to lift up closer to the heatsink, to the GPU or CPU, and bring it up. And there you have it. You don't need to rip off the uh, copper sheet right here. All you need to do is just bend it like this, and you have access to cleaning away the toothbrush, clean up the dust, remove the dust, and take it outside and blow some uh, compressed air here and clean it nicely. Once you clean it up, now we're gonna clean up the old thermal paste. We're gonna hear about a little bit of workshop towel. We're gonna soak it in the alcohol and we're gonna rub it nicely over the CPU and GPU if you have GPU version. So clean it up and do the same thing in here. Remove the excess first and trash this one. Grab a little bit of new one here and just go ahead and make sure you put a shiny, really shiny right there. Now you want to fold it and do the same thing, do a few pass over the die right there. Once you have that one done, all you need to do is just put a tiny line right across over here. There we go. Just a tiny line in the middle. That's more than enough. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's a line right there. Now, what you want to do, you want to grab the heat sink, bring it on, put the fan corner right in here on the screws, and align. Once you put it down, do not lift it up. Put it right straight on top, and don't lift it up. There's a numbers right here. One, two, three, four. You don't have to actually follow the numbers as long as you X, uh, you do it in an X in pattern. So you can go three, four, two, one, or one, two, three, four. I'm, for the heck of the video, I'm gonna go one, two, three, one. So the only reason they have it crossed is just so you can spread the heat see, thermal paste evenly. So if you put this side first, you're gonna push the thermal paste to other side. So always cross the screw them. Put the three screws for the fan. Once you have the screws for the fan, and the last thing would be to just grab the uh, connector for the battery, make sure evenly, put it right inside the jack, slide it down evenly, don't put sideways in, and then just push it towards the jack right there. And that's it pretty much. And the last thing down here is to grab the bottom case, make sure you're gonna put the audio jack right in here, scoop it right underneath, so you have to scoop it in. So bring it in 45 degrees, scoop it in, push it down, I hold it down and release the other side and now we want to push down the all the corners in the back front and you're going to open up if you see any any gap opening just pinch them together and it should go in place and the last thing down here is to put the two long screws one on each corner and the short screws they go all over the place again i hope you guys like this video and it helped you guys to do your own repaste and cleaning if you want to support the channel, click that like and support. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just gonna finish up putting up the bottom screws.